In this first module of Chapter 7 on Extensions of Stable Population Theory, Module 7.1, I will cover two sex models. Classic stable population theory is essentially a one-sex theory because it posits two age-specific schedules, reproduction and mortality, but only for females. These two schedules determine the dynamics of the female population from the earliest stages through attainment of a stable state. The two-sex problem in stable population theory requires taking into account the male-specific survival, the fraction of all births that are male, and the role of males in reproduction. Here I will describe simpler two-sex, uh, more conventional models that are female-dominant. In other words, the births of both males and female offspring are attributed to the mothers. Basic two-sex parameters. The starting point for an analysis of a two-sex system is the tabulation of sex-specific birth and death rates for the female cohort and the death rates for the male cohort. Survival rates from birth to age X are denoted LX female and LX male, and the fraction of offspring that are males is denoted S and assumed to be age independent, that is constant. Sex ratio at age X and intrinsic sex ratio. Consider a model in which female and male life tables differ, but the rate of population increase of the sexes is the same. If the ratio of male to female birth is S, then the ratio of males age X to females age X is given by this expression, or simply the product of S and the ratio of male to female survival at age X. Note that the sex ratio at age X depends on the sex-specific life tables and the sex ratio at birth, but not on the common rate of increase. The rate of population increase, R, is determined from the Lotka equation using only the female rates. The intrinsic sex ratio, ISR, is the ratio of males to females that will eventually emerge in a population with fixed age and sex-specific survival schedules at which male and female offspring are produced. It is computed as the ratio of the sums of the exponentially weighted sex-specific survival schedules, that is male to female, over all ages as shown here. Examples of the stable age by sex distribution of a hypothetical Drosophila population are shown in these graphs with nearly a twofold difference in survival schedules such that the E0 for female, adult females, equal 38 days and E0 for males equal 20 days. Note the effect of population growth rate on both the within and between sex distribution by age. When growth rate is positive, the sex ratio differences are minimal, even though adult female expectation of life is nearly twice that for adult males. This is because growth rate skews the age distribution of the population to the pre-adults, where sex-specific survival is assumed to be identical. The middle graph shows the effects on sex ratio due only to differences in survival, in other words, a stationary population. The bottom graph shows the effects on sex ratio due to negative growth rate and sex-specific survival differences. Age-specific sex ratio in spider mites. Whereas the Drosophila model assumed that the male-to-female production of offspring by females was age-independent, in some species, such as in spider mites, this is not the case, as shown here. Note in the top graph, age on the x-axis, survival on the y-axis, with male and female survival shown with these curves that differ by over two weeks. The bottom graph shows age and sex-specific offspring on the x and y axes, respectively. Not only does uh, sex-specific survival differ in spider mites, the rate of male production by females differs substantially with age in the spider mite females. The sex ratio of the stable age distribution is defined as the ratio of the sum of all males at each age in the stable age distribution to the sum of all females at each age in the stable age distribution. This can be expressed as the following, where MX, the subscript M, denotes the uh, number of male offspring produced by a female age X. Use of this expression assumes that the number of offspring produced depends only on numbers of females in the population and not on the number of males. The expression for sex ratio has an instructive, intuitive interpretation as the product of two terms. One term, the survival term, is the ratio of sums over the stable age distribution of males and females, which would be the sex ratio of a population with a primary sex ratio of 1 to 1. 
The other term, the reproductive term, reflects the way in which a primary sex ratio that differs from one to one distorts the sex ratio. The dependence of the sex ratio on the rate of increase R can be understood by examining the effect of R on the survival and reproductive terms. For example, there are 1.6 males per female at R equals zero, equal numbers of males and females at R equals 0.05, and an excess females uh, number per male in rapidly growing populations, such as when R equals 0.2. This model demonstrates that the sex ratio at age X and the intrinsic sex ratio are both conditional on population growth rate if the primary sex ratio is age dependent. This ends the first module of uh, 7.1 of chapter 7.